Welcome back to another Autoculture vlog. Today, I had to make a very difficult decision because at the same time as I'm here in Mobara Circuit in Chiba, uh, stand station is happening back in Tokyo. So fortunately and unfortunately, I decided to come here out to Chiba to Mobara Twin Circuit to watch a drift event by Takahashi Kuniaki, XD1 driver, better known as Kunis. My friend uh, Ryusei Akiba is gonna be here. There's gonna be a lot of uh, really good drifters today. So I just made a shot. I decided instead of going around a parking lot, looking at a bunch of stand style cars that are just parked, after a long time, I was like, let's go watch some drifting. I haven't taken any photos of drifting in a long time as well. And I just thought it would be a little bit more of a fun vlog to come here instead. I'm gonna keep this introduction very very short. Let's look around right now. We're in the parking lot. Um, there's not that many cars and it's actually very quiet even though it's almost 10 a.m. now. Um, I thought they would have been already drifting although I can hear them going out on the track now. Um, let's keep this introduction very very short and let's just look at a couple of cars here that are really cool in the parking lot and then head up to the pits and watch some drifting. Right off the bat we have this really beautiful blue Mark II, JZX100 of course. I'm going to guess my best that this is a full Vertex kit. Um, it's even got the uh, eye lines, which obviously I love eye lines because I have them on my 86 as well. But what a nice street Mark II this is. Really, really like this color. Very simple uh, semi bucket seat inside. Dildo shifter on these five spoke cleave wheels. This is a Japanese brand. And some nice. Uh, LED tail lights to top it all off. This is really, really nice. Very nice, clean, and simple. Very cool, simple VIP styled uh, Toyota Crown here as well. Nothing too special, just nicely lowered. And I'm sure, as you can see, the interior is a lot more pimped out than the exterior. My 86, another Crown, and then we got a couple of uh, fairly simple looking JZX 100s again. This is a Chaser, and of course, a Mark II again, this time on uh, R34 wheels. So yeah, very, very quiet at the parking lot. Let's just head up to the pits. Maybe on the way out, there might be more people there down in the parking lot. We'll just take a, another quick look once we are leaving at the end of the video, but let's go watch some drifting. <laughs> the pits here's another really good looking JZX 100 chaser of course I'm not gonna guess the kit this time I want to see not sure which kit this is I want to say vertex again but I'll probably be wrong really nice chrome XT 7s Ganador mirrors never seen this fender before it's very very cute I like it oh it's got a roll cage inside Wow spare tires for drifting I'm guessing just a simple interior I wonder if he's gonna be out on the track later I don't know why he would be parked here maybe just came to spectate today there's another very clean mark too just gonna take a very quick look at it very simple on KFs as always that's the great look that everybody always goes for a little half front bumper and just nice and simple as we get to the pits this is gonna be great I already see team reverse which is obviously a uh, new says team a couple of really great cars oh it's hisashimuri genki I didn't even realize that's one of my friends wow he drives a Cresta now and then this guy is a very popular street drifter lately Let's talk about him a little bit later. Nice to see an A86 here as well. And they got a nice pit set up here. Another uh, team reverse member going out. Another friend, Sianocci. Wow, it's really nice to see some old friends. Got some uh, professional drifters out here as well. Ooh. I think that's a Formula Drift uh, Japan GR Supra as well. That's going to be cool to see on the track. That's a 
super beat up Sylvia. Oh, Mokomans. Haven't seen him in a long time. These guys were all just out on the track. Coming up, it's another beautiful JZX 100. Absolutely stunning cars here today. Lots of S15s, and then let's take a quick look at this thing. So this is a JZX 110 Mark II lit with a Toyota Verossa front on it. This is so sick. This guy's been around. I've been watching this guy drift for almost 10 years now. Same car, always. Nice to see an Arista as well. This is a professional car again, Formula Drift Japan. As you can see, completely pro car. All business, no games. Nice chaser here. I always love this. Uh, I want to say it's kind of like a Duloc looking wing, but I've seen there's so many different cars, I don't want to really call it a Duloc wing. I'm not sure what it is. It might even be a Cooney's wing, but doesn't matter. Very, very nice. So that was another one of my really old friends. He drives this Mirosa right here. Take a closer look at this. Woo! Really, really nice looking car. He said it's this, uh, First time in four years to come to Mowara to drive today, so he's uh, feeling a little bit nervous apparently. Nice to see some GT86s, wow, this should be me here. Well, it's a BRZ and an 86, but looks like a completely stock engine as well. Yep, no turbo or anything. Simple oil cooler and that's it, wow. I guess I have no excuses, I just need to start doing it. gets ready to go out let's check out a few more of these cars remaining here in the pits like this uh, another JZX 100 Mark II fairly sure those are all uh, BN Sports over fenders with uh, actually you know what it might be a mixture of like origin because the front bumper is origin and the side skirts as well so this might be like a full origin kitted one but love the uh, white look with the hot pink wheels like a full Kuna's car. Sounds so good. And then another blue JZX100 Mark II. Looks like a mixture of who knows who's over fenders on the back. And then this is the uh, Kuni's front fenders. Uh, he makes these for the Mark II and the Chaser. You'll probably see a couple of other JZXs running them today. I'm not entirely sure whose these belong to, but I'm loving that sparkly paint on those wheels. I think I've seen this R34 as well many, many times here at Mobara. It's a G35. There you go, another JZX100 with the Quinny's fenders. Cool to see a Laurel as well. Wow. In the sea of JZXs. And then our first Cresta of the day. There we go. There's a lot of chasers in Mark IIs, but this is the first Cresta we're seeing today. Really, really nice. Of course, one JZ powered. 
with a big turbo. Really, really nice. This is like such a nice drift setup right here. Can't ignore this S13. Very, very clean engine bay with the SR20. Wow, almost fully stock interior. Interesting. Also really cool to see a Supra out here again. Another guy that I've seen many, many times. There's the Mark II that was out earlier. Highest run. Ooh, there is this guy. So we've been seeing this guy out on the streets quite a bit lately. If you follow me on Instagram and my reels. And we got a really nice lineup of all red cars here. So another Cresta in the back, but let's go check it out. But I think one of these cars must be uh, Bunnies. I think this Mark II might be, but I could be wrong. Such a nice lineup of cars. Nightwalkers. So Nightwalkers is a very, very old street drifting team that was made up of a bunch of uh, D1 drivers. Well, they became D1 drivers afterwards, but definitely Takahashi Kuniaki was one of them. And then as I said, Yusei is here as well. He was uh, at Ebisu Drift Matsuri yesterday, all the way up in Fukushima with, this, uh, with his D1 car. And then he made it all the way down to Chiba the next day to attend this drift event today. Again, all in the Pro D1 car that we just saw this past weekend at D1 Odaiba. There's another JZX90 Cresta. This one's, wow, very beat up. Clearly somebody's uh, missile. Interesting to see these uh, makeshift headlights. Kind of looks like a zombie. And also nice to see a little bit more of the S chassis as well. Clearly the event today is dominated by JZX's, but yeah.
Moonsun in his S15. This should be fun. Still fairly empty in the parking lot, although I think people just came in and left already. Very stock looking RX-7 on NK wheels, but looks very nice. It seems like there's been a couple of new JZXs and this S15 on R33 wheels, and we all know R33 wheels look the best on everything. With all that, it's time to wrap up yet another video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I have absolutely zero regrets of picking this over Stance Nation. It's been such a great day and it was really nice to see a lot of people that I haven't seen in quite a while. We'll be back here in Mobile Twin Circuit in about three days. Um, on Thursday on the national holiday, there's an 86 only drift event and circuit event, I guess. Um, it'll be really good for anybody who's an FRS BRZ 86 fan. Um, and it's also gonna be a really good opportunity for me to see kind of like what other people are doing with their 86s because honestly, I really wanna start drifting my 86 as soon as possible as well. So until then, uh, if you guys are new here, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Let me know in the comment section, anything you wanna like, you know, what you wanna see in the future. What was your favorite car? If you wanna drop me a question, anything, shoot it down in the comments below. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.